Eckhart Tolle, a decidedly unflashy, unassuming spiritual teacher. He doesn't like the term guru. Originally from Germany. Life is sacred. When you are lost in thought, sacred is meaningless. Despite his very low-key presentation, his lectures sell out, and he's sold 10 million books. I found everything resonating inside me. I kept on saying, yes, 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 that's it, that's it. Like he says, now is the only thing we have. Tolley granted us a rare interview to talk about how people can achieve this sort of spiritual awakening or inner calm that he claims to have achieved. Don't you ever get annoyed, irritated, sad, anything negative? No, I, I accept what is, and that's why life has become so simple. But well, somebody cuts you off in, 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 their, in, in your car? It's fine. It's like a sudden gust of wind. I don't personalize a gust of wind, or, and so it's simply what is. And you're able to enjoy every moment, even if I start asking you a ton of annoying questions. Yes, that would be fine. So it's really... Don't tempt me. <laughs> Tolly's core message is that our egos are destroying our lives. To me, what the ego is habitual and compulsive thought processes that go through everybody's mind continuously. Psychologists have found that 98 to 99 percent of our thinking is repetitive. And also a lot of our thinking is actually very negative. People tend to dwell more on negative things than on uh, good things. So that the mind becomes obsessed with negative things, with judgments, guilt. In fact, Tolly blames most of the ills of our world on our egos. Wars, broken homes, our destruction of the planet. Tolly's other big point is that we are wasting our lives by refusing to live in the present moment. Many people live habitually as if the present moment were either an obstacle that they need to overcome in order to get to the next moment. And, and imagine living your whole life like that, where the, always this moment is never quite right, not good enough, because you need to get to the next one. That is continuous stress. Tolly says he can teach people to tame that voice in their head and live in the present through what he calls awakening. It's a state of consciousness, not some weird belief system that we need to adopt. It's more, much more fundamental and much more simple. After he awakened, he says he quit his job as an academic and eventually sat on a park bench, homeless, for several years, living in a state of bliss. How did you get this way? How did you awaken? I was so unhappy that I couldn't stand it anymore. I had to step out of this identification with the unhappy mind-created self. So unhappy that you were considering suicide? Yes, I was several times close to suicide, and so one night a shift happened and I realized the, the unhappy me, the unhappy self, is not really who I am. I could sense underneath it a, a, a presence and an aliveness and an intelligence that had nothing to do with all the negative thoughts that were continuously going through my head. Part of Tolley's appeal is that he draws from many faiths, quoting Buddha and also Jesus frequently.